Who are you? Why be in mirror? Welcome to South by Southwest in Austin, Texas, the mirror. <laughs> Appreciate it. Right off the bat, I have a gift for you. Right now, I have some Bone Thugs and some what? E40 records for you. <laughs> With some good looks for sure. How with you? with some instrumentals. What? That's crazy. How you know I like one of the things in Hermy? Well, again, you are a YBN Namir, so we have to know what do you think about Bone Thugs and E40? Them the goats. What you mean? Period. Like that's all you got to say. They already you know. Would but you, would you ever go to the club and perhaps rap over them? What? Yeah, bro. It's bone Thugs and Hermy E40. What you mean? Everybody going through that. That's, wow, that's crazy. I ain't think nobody knew I listened to both this army, though. Quote, up top like I'm... Mozzie. <laughs> when up top like I'm Mozzie, you hear me? <laughs> Bay Area. Yeah, for sure. But well, it's not... Is that the Bay? Is that really not the Bay? It's, it's that got their own thing. No. Nah. It's not Birmingham. Oh, it's not Birmingham. Hell no. Nah. It's that different. Why be in the mirror? Did you have an R&B band at age 11? <laughs> Hell yeah. I had some uh, shit called the Misfits with like two of my friends from school. Vince? Yeah, matter of fact, that's my DJ right now, DJ Fresh, you feel me? We had a little singing group back in the day, and I had a, uh, one of my homeboys called Jay. Like, not the Jay that I be with now, but Jay back in the day, we had a little singing group going crazy, you feel me, back in the day. And why, Namir, who do we have in the room right now? Could you point out from the left, who do we have in the room right now? On the left, man, we got Ace, you know, you know big, big fan. You know, he, he talk about you 24-7, man. <laughs> I made this nigga dream come true when I came on here. <laughs> then you got, you know, Almighty J. You feel me? You got Ponzi, the cameraman. You got Black. He just ready to shoot something. You got Fresh in the back. You know, you got Glizzy probably over there. You know, the whole gang here. You know. And you're a YBN? YBN, I'm here. Thank you, K-More. Whoa. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this nigga K-More, nah, that's my man's. Thank you, Cap God. Cap God? Oh, no, that's my man's too. What can you say about k and Cap God? Them my niggas from the game. How? What? Oh, yeah, them my niggas from the game from a long time ago. Like, I used to play the game on Xbox and shit. Mm, niggas, they cool. Yeah. Who are the Jungle Boys? What? It's on, uh, me and my niggas made a long time ago. Me and k made it. Well, me, k and so Flyer made it a long time ago on Xbox. It's like a, it's like a little click we had or something. Like, you feel me? But it was cool. It was going crazy at the time. But yeah, we made that at the time. It blew up. Went crazy. 46 Mafia? 46. <laughs> he said what? He said what? <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hold up. Time. Wait, 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 wait. 4-6 Mafia, man, that's on the game, man, what? I, like, that's on uh, the computer, we used to play LSRP, right, you feel me? So it's like this little thing, you can have like a faction, so you feel me? They got like a little faction, it's like, they got Crips on there, Bloods on there, Pyro, all that. And you feel me, 4-6 Mafia, that was like a little Crip faction, everybody used to role play with this shit, but that shit used to go crazy. Like, it's even like funerals, too? Nigga, it's everything, it's like, it's like role play. Like, it's like real life type shit on the game, you feel me, but... That shit cool. I don't know how nobody knew that shit. Quote YBN Namir, drinking Aquafina. Drinking Aquafina, drinking water. It's good. You did a lot of car freestyles, didn't you? Man, I did a lot of freestyles in the car. I used to be going crazy. <laughs> I used to be going crazy on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. An early supporter of you was Turk from the Hot Boys? Oh, hell yeah. Turk from the Hot Boys. I did a freestyle over one of his songs. Yeah, man. He go crazy. Turk from the Hot Boys. I did Turk. What were you like back then doing the car freestyles? What was I like? I mean, I was cool. I was just going crazy with it. You feel me? I always go rap, so, you know, everybody was fucking with it. It was going viral on YouTube and shit, all that type of shit. So. What exactly is going on right here? If you could please explain. What is this? What? <laughs> hey, bro, niggas, niggas just got done uh, coming from the skater rink. What, what is going, you can put that down if you want. What is going on here, YBN? Yeah, Let me niggas just got done from the skater <laughs> Niggas just got done talking to some girls from the skating rink, you feel me? Niggas just came home, had to flex for Facebook picture with like $8. <laughs> Niggas thought they was the man, you feel me? But yeah, man. Was that Young Valentino? Man, this was Young Me, man. Young Valentino, man. You feel me? Oh, yeah, that's the caption too, I think. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. Damn, I really grew up since then, man. I don't even look like this no more. 
And I was curious about Birmingham rappers. What can you say about this Birmingham rapper, Doby? Man, it's the go, man. RP Doby, man. What? That is crazy. They know about Doby too, man. What can you say about Doby? That nigga hard. He hard as hell. Everybody can fuck with him. Like everybody listen to that nigga. Like, bro, Birmingham fuck with that nigga heavy, man. RP that nigga, man. Yeah, that nigga a legend in Birmingham. Northside Wheezy. Northside Wheezy. Oh, that's my nigga, period. I'll fuck with Northside Wheezy. You know I me. Mean? Like we was fucking with Northside Wheezy before like the music was popping off. And what about OMB? OMB Peasy? Yeah, I fuck with OMB Peasy too. That nigga go crazy. Hell yeah, he like from he like four hours from Birmingham. But yeah, that nigga cool. I fuck with him. He from Alabama. And I have another gift for you, YBN. A rich boy, twelve inch. <laughs> another Alabama rapper. Man, I forgot about Rich Boy, man. Shout out Rich Boy, man. Rich Boy selling that all that shit. <laughs> I ain't heard of it. And it's got an instrumental too. It's crazy, man. Rich Boy, what? I ain't heard of him since like 2008. Go crazy, man. Rich Boy, if you see this, man. Tap my phone, man. Hit me up or something, man. We got to get on something. <laughs> it's a remix. A remix of some 2018 version. You hear me? On February 9th, 2017, I plan on blowing up before the summer's over. February 9th, 2017. Man, what? It was starting to happen when the summer was coming. Like, when the summer was ending, that's when I was blowing up. You feel me? So... I actually did complete what I wanted to complete, but you feel me? It took a little more time than the summer, but you feel me? It came true, though. It came true. You see where I'm at now, nigga, what? I'm doing an interview, what? Going crazy? They already know what time it is, man. But you feel me? Yeah. And you were still in high school, and kids were following you to class? What was that like? Like, kids following you to class, and they weren't in your class? Bro, it was like, it was like, motherfuckers. I was getting too famous. Like, the kids, like the, the ninth graders, 10th graders, you feel me? They was just... I don't know. Everybody was following me, asking me questions, all shit, twenty four seven. Like it was going crazy. Like they had, they had to take me out of school. Like they had to. Man. And they would follow you into class, but they weren't in your class. Like they would yeah. sip us. They'd come in my class, sit at my desk, and everything. Motherfucking bell to wrong. Motherfuckers be late to class. They just sitting there holding me. I just be like, what's that? Did he help you out with homework or anything? Man, people did my shit for me. I ain't even had to do that shit in class, bro. I, I hey, do this for me right quick. Let me see your paper. Oh, it's good. Yeah, you feel me? It's good. <laughs> What is the dance associated with the bounce vid? I mean, it just happened. Like, bro, we was in the studio going crazy and like, like this is the beat drop. Like, you feel me? It's just like, mm, mm, you feel me? It just went crazy. We was in the studio and we just went crazy with it. But is there a dance that you do? Oh, yeah, it's, it's a dance with it. What do you do? What should people do? You feel me? Like, you hop on your leg a little bit. Like, you just, you just, uh, like, you feel me? You got to get groovy with it. I don't know. You got to have your own style to it. You got to put your own style into it when you do the hop. You feel me? Everybody don't do it the same. I was curious, what is the importance of this record right here, Menace to Society? Man, what go crazy? What niggas even know about this, man? What? <laughs> niggas go crazy, bro. We don't even got to speak on this. Niggas already know what time it is with this, man. What? Say less, man. Say less. We ain't even going to speak on that, man. Go crazy. I was thinking I would get you another record right here. This record is a gift and it's everything you always wanted to know about the Godfather. And on the wall there is Famous Gangster School. Right. What is this an album? It's a comedy record from 1972. Famous Gangster School. For sure. We finna go crazy and listen to this later then. We finna here we do my thing. What do you think about comedy records? Because this is a comedy record. I mean, since I, I ain't heard them, but I'm gonna fuck with it. You feel have you told any jokes on stage? Have I told any jokes on stage? Yeah. Hell yeah. I tell jokes on stage all the time. I'm a funny ass nigga, bruh. Like behind the, all that shit, like when motherfuckers really get to know me, they gonna understand like I'm a funny ass nigga, bruh. I be telling jokes on stage and shit. This nigga Jay be telling jokes on stage like bruh they just like our fans really fuck with us like because we fuck with our fans like so it's not hard to like you feel me communicate with them and shit what about ybn namir and the alcoholics there's a connection an alcoholics tash from the alcoholics produced act up act up oh damn Oh, I forgot about Act Up. Damn, that song went crazy. Like, that's the really the first song I really went crazy on. Like, I found that beat off of YouTube, too. 
Really? Yeah. I found all my beats on YouTube back in the day. Like, that's the first song I really went crazy on. Like, everybody knew that shit. Like, yeah. Act up. Anything you want to add to the people out there at all? Why be in them here? Uh, I mean, you should. You're going to see a lot of me in 2018, 2019. You're just going to see a lot of me because I'm going to go crazy. We fucking the streets up. For sure, this summer, like, this summer is over with. Like, nigga, we got shit planned for it. At least five years. We set for like two years. It's good. No more music. What? Bruh. They finna just see. We finna just have to show them. We got to prove it to them. Like, I'm done talking with it. <laughs> and amazing that you have such a big crew, too. Right. It's the, well, it's not really that big, for real, for real. It's just like the game. You feel me? Yeah, most motherfuckers be riding with like 30 niggas. I just ride with like three niggas. Like my niggas. I don't got to have a bunch of pit niggas and shit. Like, just my niggas. I'm smooth. Why should people care about YBN Nimi or why should people care? Why should people care? I mean, they don't got to care, but you feel me? You should care because, like, you feel me? I care about y'all. I care about everybody that care about me. So, you feel me? You hear? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you better care about me because I'm caring about your ass. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, thank you very much, YBN Namir. Keep on rocking in the free world and do do a loot do. Do do. Yeah. <laughs> this nigga froze. I don't even know how to do this shit. This nigga. Get this nigga. This nigga got this whole really froze on me. Ha, ha, ha.